2007, I uh, heard the word on the radio that uh, a friend of mine had lost her son in uh, Afghanistan, and I hadn't seen her for oh, at least 20 years probably. But every time you hear a name come over the radio that some family had lost, uh, someone very dear to them, it makes your heart ache. But when you actually know that family, it, it uh, makes your heart ache yeah, a lot more. And uh, I uh, wanted to pay my respects somehow, but it didn't want to impose on the family. I knew they had a lot uh, drawing their attention at the time. So I decided I was just going to go down to the uh, the route where they were bringing him home from the airport, taking him to the funeral home, and I just wanted to watch the hearse go by. And uh, as I left my house to go do that, I walked right past the big old American flag hanging off of my front porch, and a little voice in my mind said, take that flag with you. But there's another little voice in my mind that says, I don't want to draw attention to myself. And... Uh, so I got in my car and I started down that road, that flag hanging on my porch. And the further away from that flag I got, the heavier my heart got. <laughs> Finally, I had to turn that car around and go back and get it. And it barely fit in my car. But I went down there and I thought, you know, I'm probably uh, gonna stand out. I didn't know if anybody would be there on that street but me. When I got down there, much to my surprise, there was a lot of people out there of all ages with the flags off of their front porch too. And uh, when that hearse came by, an amazing, something I'd never seen before. All the restaurants emptied out. People left the food on their table. And they came out here to watch this hearse go by. And all the cooks came out of the kitchen and they took off their hats to show respect. And that day, the word that struck my mind was noble. And you know, most of these young uh, people who lay down their lives, they're not rich, they're not famous, but they are certainly noble. And uh, that day, it was recognized. And you'd have thought the president or a king was in that hearse. Uh, and it was right to pay our respect. It was the right thing to do. And it was a bright, sunny day. But up and down that street, the tears were falling. It was, uh, it was raining tears. And uh, shortly after that, I wrote this song called The Last Parade. This is for Nicholas Carnes and his family. Sergeant Nicholas Carnes lost his life in Afghanistan in 2007. I didn't know the boy, but I had to go. I knew his mom many years ago. There were hundreds there, and I was one. Come to pay respect to a fallen son. As I left my home, I took my flag and it took my place on the town's main drag. There were little kids and bikers there for a single cause to show they care. Thank you, son, for how you fought that day. Thank you, mom. The son you gave The least I can do Is let old glory away As the tears rain down On your last parade He grew up next door To a friend of mine Played football offensive line he had a real good job for several years then he felt the need to volunteer thank you son for how you fought that day thank you dad for the 
son you gave The least I can do Is let old glory wait As the tears rain down On your last parade You married well On a summer day anniversary was only weeks away now he's laid to rest by his grandpa's grave as the veterans play amazing grace On the other side of heaven's gate, a horse rode up with a brand new saint, and another son had met him there for his first parade in his new town square. Thank you, son, for what you did that day. Thank you, Lord, for the son you gave. The least I can do is let the banner wave as we gather round for the last parade.